in my most popular shows, I take the left, the, the one on whiteness, the one on the riots in Portland, the, the, the ones on, um, on uh, what was it called, uh, systemic racism. Uh, those are great. But I'm, the fact is that I am more interested in, and I think I have more to contribute in attacking the right and giving objectivity to the right, partially because all of us are attracted to the right. The right is appealing. The right seems like the antidote to the left. And that's my job, is to warn you away from that. The choice is not between right to left. The choice is between individualism and collectivism, and the right today is very collectivist. All right, let me cover some of the topics I wanted to as an example of why the right is so pathetic. But this is like a regular pathetic. This is not an insightful pathetic. It's just look at what's going on right now with the stimulus. For how much would you comment five-minute video? I don't know what you mean. For how much would you comment five-minute video? You're, you're going to have to explain yourself, John. You can explain yourself in one of the comments without the dollars, and I'll try to read it. Just look at the stimulus package. The Democrats in May, May, they passed the stimulus package by the House $3 trillion. Now, that was obviously not going anywhere. But you expected the collectivistic, statist, socialist-minded Republicans to offer their own stimulus package quickly so they can negotiate a deal because they need to throw money at the American people before the election. Otherwise, they risk losing. But the Republicans sat on their hands. And only when coronavirus numbers started going up and the Republicans said, oh my God, maybe, maybe, maybe we do need to throw money at American people. Maybe the recovery won't happen all by itself that the Republicans started to put the plan together and they couldn't disagree and they argued and they debated and they argued and finally last week they proposed a solution. Now, it's already known that between at least 20 senators, Republican senators are probably going to vote against this. Good for them, by the way. But the Democrats don't support this and the House has to agree to it. So then they started negotiating with the House. And they're not agreeing. Why? Because the House wants um, to sustain this uh, $800 a month on top of unemployment insurance, an extra $800, which basically, for some people, constitutes a wage higher than what they would actually earn if they got a job. So Republicans are saying, no, we want to reduce it so that it isn't as much as if they got a, jo as if they got a job, because we want to provide them with an incentive to get a job. And Democrats are saying, no. Because Democrats have veto power over this bill. Because they control the House of Representatives. So they say no. So Republicans say, no, no, this is really bad. This is economic suicide. We can't do that. People won't go to work, so we're going to insist. And Democrats say no. And today Republicans said, okay, let's, let's sit down and negotiate. <laughs> so Republicans have already caved on that. What's also interesting about these negotiations, like previous negotiations of the Trump administration, they're not handled like they used to be. It used to be that the House and Senate, senators would negotiate and the House members would negotiate, and then maybe the, the administration, the president's people would chime in and, and, and say, no, no, we won't sign that, and we don't want that, and we don't want this, and they would lobby, and they would encourage. And But here, it's Mnuchin negotiating the whole thing. And Mnuchin sells out to the Democrats every single time. Now, I know... Trump has this mystique about being a great negotiator out of the deal. But he's outmaneuvered by the Democrats every single time. And what I expect from this deal is it's going to be well over a trillion dollars. It's going to give the Democrats what they want on unemployment. It's going to give the Democrats what they want on other issues. Um, none of them will, you know, that comes to some grand compromise. It'll be a trillion to a trillion and a half. It's massive. It's intrusive. It's more bailouts. It's checks to everybody and their brother-in-law. And this is above and beyond things like the Trump administration giving a $765 million loan to Kodak to save it so it can convert itself into some kind of pharma company. Really, Kodak. Because they have knowledge in chemicals from film development. And it's just fascinating to me that anybody still believes, that anybody has any inclination to think that Republicans are pro-market. 
the Republicans are not just competing on who can grant what favors to whom, which interest rate interest group gets which favors and to what extent and how big are they and where can we buy influence and how many voters do we buy versus them buying and in which districts and which states and is it a red state or is it a blue state and it's all that kind of politics it's all corrupt it's all statist collectivist socialist insanity or fascist however way you want to call it but the government involvement in the economy in dramatic fashion. That's what we're seeing. Democrats, Republicans, makes no difference. It's just a matter of the degree. And it's a matter of the emphasis, where you want to put the trillions of dollars. Now, somebody should put up $2,000. I agree with anonymous Doe. Someone, 2000 bucks. come on. Never mind, $2 trillion. The government gets $2 trillion. I can't get a $2,000? All right. Um, so I just wanted to vet a little bit on stimulus because it is so sickening. So sickening. This is stimulus number three. We've already spent $3 trillion on the stimulus. This is by far the largest stimulus in American history. It's bigger than the New Deal. It's bigger than 2008, 2009. It, 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 this is like World War II in terms of percentage of GDP. This is like completely taking over the U.S. economy in order to ramp it up, to manufacture arms to win World War II. That's what this government is doing right now. This is a wholesale uh, turning American markets into an entitlement state where every crisis now Americans are going to go, oh, please help us, hands out, where's my $1,000 stimulus check? And every small business is going to go, oh, wait, Where's my PPP loan, my PPP grant or whatever it is? And, and how come, and that, I haven't even talked about the Fed, because I've talked about it before, printing $7 trillion to bail out businesses and corporations and large companies and probably some foreign banks in addition. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brute. All right, before we go on, reminder. Please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see, see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a, click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share and uh, you can support the show at youronbrookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if, you, even if you just come here to troll or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified, right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please.